Hello and welcome. Today we'll see how reports can be generated. This is the screen that you see when you log in. Uh, the main uh, screen would be your dashboard. I clicked on the reports and this is the page I landed on. Here you see quick reports, you see custom reports, you have saved reports and also reports for tags and referral sources. We'll go one by one. On the quick reports, we have variety of reports for uh, various uh, items including to-dos, cases, inquiries uh, and documents and pretty much most of it. Uh, to give an example like when we select cases, let's say how we pull the variety of reports based on cases. Uh, first you provide the start and end date uh, like I'm just gonna put a date. Uh, let's say I put May 1st to October 21st uh, and then uh, here the company or uh, the petitioners uh, can select all or you can have like if you want to run a report specifically uh, for one particular company you can do that one particular petitioner and you also have option to select the status like you can select whatever status you want or uh, you can select all so you get pretty much everything listed for uh, uh, the cases during these two day between these two dates for the companies you select you can get the report or you can drill down further by who uh, started the case who uh, initiated the case uh, from your staff members you can select that as well uh, who the case is assigned to if you want to go to that detail you can do that and also you can also select what type of case you want to get the report for if you want to be specific if not then you can have a basic information uh, selected here the basic thing is like between dates start date and end date and uh, these two are optional uh, they like you know they will by default be all and you can get the report and this report shows the bunch of columns here and uh, you have uh, you know all the details here with the multiple pages if it runs through and you can also download it as PDF okay now the other report is custom report in custom report what we have is we have a bunch of columns related to case and uh, you can customize your own report. Let's say I want a petitioner name, applicant name, status and say some number, receipt number and uh, intake date, priority date, uh, outcome, RFE date, you know you choose whatever columns you want. Once you have um, completed the selection all this will show up here if you want to rearrange the columns you can like let's say this is the number that you assign to your cases uh, like something that you have maintained in some other system if you want to go by that or uh, you want to do uh, you know have the priority date show up in the beginning however you want you can drag and drop and call it a name I'm just gonna say test report and you save it once it is saved you have it available in the saved reports so here you select your saved report it is already there all you have to do is select the dates and uh, status and company if you want and you can uh, get the report let me refresh it give it one second and uh, let's say I go to the saved I come here I have the dates uh, let's say I want to go a month before and I want to choose this date I want to just say all companies and I get the report because I wanted the priority date and whatever number I wanted uh, you know in that all the columns uh, in this fashion this is what I get I can also download it as a CSV file or as a PDF if I want to. Okay. Now those are the that is that is the custom report. 
Now reports for the tags, like you probably have multiple tags used for various uh, contacts and you want to see what contacts I have for uh, with what kind of tag, uh, you can um, you can get the report of those things here. Like let's say I want to get all the two stars uh, in my database. I can just see these are the inquiries which are listed like uh, which had two stars and also these are the contacts that I have can download as PDF as well okay now the same thing with referral sources let's say you advertise you you get the referrals from your clients from various other sources you can uh, assess the uh, the uh, you know the quality of uh, your advertisements and uh, the performance and other things based on your uh, referral uh, the contacts that you receive or business you receive uh, through the referral source uh, tagging like uh, you assign a referral source to every contact or uh, uh, business you get like uh, and once it is tagged you can pull the report off of it now here I do not see anyone coming through Google uh, for during this uh, period let me go back uh, you probably have some if there is any yeah I see one uh, contact who came through Google again this is test database so you have pretty much uh, all the test data but uh, if you track your referral sources correctly you'll be able to report on it and see the performance and optimize it further okay thank you very much